Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BTNHD, and yes, Windows 10 review, and let's get started. So the first thing that I noticed is that Microsoft did not remove this crazy looking image. So that means you gotta either click up or click on it to get rid of it. And so let's log in. I, if you guys checked out the first boot, I actually logged into my Microsoft account for it to trickle down all the nice little settings and stuff that I like to see. Uh, so let's log in. Hopefully I remember the password and uh, The first boot was real self-explanatory. It, it felt just like Windows 8 or 8.1 It was nothing special with the first boot uh, What I did notice that it, the installation process of a fresh install was extremely fast uh, But if you do upgrade a Windows 7 to Windows 10 or 8.1 to Windows 10 it takes forever depending on how you guys are implementing it again Microsoft is implementing it in two ways you can either download the Windows technical preview exe file which actually uh, uses your Windows update engine within your Windows environment to grab the installation files and then restarts your machine checks if the machine has all the requirements and all that good stuff so again, off bat, the first thing, the second thing that I noticed is the start menu is back. How beautiful is the start menu? Not really. I don't really think the start menu is beautiful. And the reason why is because they, they put towels in them. Why the hell did you put towels in? Uh, even though you have the ability to right click on the towel and resize them or pin them to the taskbar, you can even uninstall them on the spot or even unpin them from the start. But then again, when you kind of, if I take all these guys out, does that gonna leave this big gray box? No, it, it shrinks. How awesome is that? So that means if I remove all this craziness, that gray box actually shrinks. So it means if you guys don't want those towels, remove those towels. You don't need them at all. How awesome. So if I remove all these crazy looking things, I got my start menu. This is the start menu that everyone wants to see. Why? Windows, why are you integrating? Metro start screen with the start menu. No, two separate things. Just give us a start menu, please. This is what we want. Uh, another thing is the modern apps coming to the desktop rather than having its own windows and what that means. If you did update your Windows 8.1 to the latest update one, you did notice that the app store now when you click on it, it's it has its own menu. You're able to uh, minimize it, minimize it. Oh, look. Oh. I already see an error. I already see a, a little glitch. As you can see, it looks like the text box is kind of fading in into the the closing, the maximizing, or minimizing, and the and the. That's pretty weird. I can't even click on that. Oh man, what is going on? That's not a good thing. Is that a glitch? I already found the first glitch. But uh, like, that's one of the new things. I actually, this is not really a new thing. It, it was already implemented on Windows 8.1. Uh, you know. Modern apps are now are able to run on the desktop and you're able to minimize it like a, re a regular application to the taskbar. So that's nothing new. Now, another thing that kind of excites me a lot, which if you are a Mac user and a Linux user is virtual desktops. And finally, Microsoft has virtual desktops, but with a twist. They actually doesn't, they don't call it virtual desktops. They actually call it task view. So within the taskbar there goes task view if you click on it you get a nice little sub menu uh, at the bottom or the footer of the menu and you're able to click a desktop this gives you another window which you're able to click in between and how it's easy to switch they even give you these, ah my god they give me they're still giving you these little two tips get rid of those two tips um but i'm kind of happy that the two tip went away quickly i know eight on eight and eight point one a two tip came and it just stayed there forever until i restarted or logged off but uh you can actually have multiple windows like right now this is the fire explorer and if i click on the task view it brings it up and as you can see there you go if i have this window right here we we'll have that and I can actually, the only thing I don't like about task view, you're not able to organize it. You're not able to drag and drop it to another section, like reorganize the way you would do within a Mac OS or a Linux based platform. I don't really know how many virtual desktops you can actually create, but right now I'm just going crazy. So I don't even think there's a limitation on how many virtual desktops you can have. It depends how wide your screen is, 
but as you can see my screen isn't long long enough to actually see the plus so that means I actually have to close a couple of them to actually see what's going on now my, my question is if you do have multiple task views up and running is that going to kill your process? Is that going to slow down your machine? Hey, that is something to think about and who knows. Uh, another thing that I saw is they got this nice little search menu. But when you click on it, uh, yeah, what's going on? It's completely blank and you're able to type it in. Let's go, uh, I don't know, what does the type does? Oh, how awesome is that? It actually goes inside the Windows app. And uh, let's click on BJ Tech News and see what it, oh, awesome. So there is an, an integrated search bar that allows you to search outside of your computer. So that's pretty awesome, that's pretty cool. But wait a minute, didn't Mac have something like that, like Spotlight? Hmm, strange. Uh, another thing is, for those geeky people like myself, I'm a huge command prompt user. And it looks like command prompt was added with uh, control V. If you have used command prompt, you know that you could never or were never able to do a, a control V, which is a paste command within the command prompt. So now if you copy something and you go into your command prompt, you're actually able to do a command V and it will pop up. So that's pretty awesome. Um, another thing that I noticed is if you right click on to the taskbar and you go to properties, so I'm actually gonna minimize this guys for you. And within the taskbar uh, start menu, there's a lot of things has been changed. Uh, notification area, you got to customize that you're able to customize the way the notification areas are displayed within Windows 10. Uh, you're able to disable or enable use peak to preview the desktop when you move your mouse to the show desktop button at the end of the taskbar. You can actually disable that or enable that. Uh, navigation has been reinvented and changed a lot. You can actually bring back charms. For those individuals that love the charm, you can actually bring back charms. Uh, but I think charms will only work if your device is a touch-based laptop. If you do not have touch base, if your, your computer does not support touch, your charm will not pop up, so do not worry about that. If you do miss or you do love that start menu when you click on the start window, uh, button on your laptop or on your computer click on this you're basically telling Windows that you don't want um, The start menu when you click on the start button that you want the whole Metro thing But when you hit apply it's gonna want you to actually sign out and change the settings So that's what you're gonna get uh, a lot of people I, I guarantee a lot of people won't even bother with this by default You're gonna get the Windows start menu. That's what a lot of people were complaining about and that's what you guys are gonna get um, I'm pretty excited with Windows 10 uh, I have to actually play around with it. Stay tuned, guys, because I'm actually going to do a video with you guys how to com comparison between Windows 8.1 and Windows 10 to see what's actually been changed. What's the difference? Is it worthy? Is it capable for actually installing in a home base and office base? Because again, Microsoft is focusing a lot on uh, the office space. Okay. Hopefully, you guys enjoy the Windows 10 review. If you have any comments or Anything that you find with Windows 10, if, if you're testing it out, let me know at the bottom of the comment section. Don't forget about hitting no like buttons because they do support me a lot. And I love seeing those thumbs up. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.